The gallery open to 10 for you and your friends, you know how. Hey y'all, so I'm at the gym and I'm going to be working on my glutes and my quads today. I had this for my pre-workout snack. Uh, it's a low-fat yogurt strawberry smoothie from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. And then I also had a chewy chocolate chip granola bar as well. And that's typically what I have before like all of my workouts. Either that or I do applesauce. Um, but yogurt is typically like I always have yogurt. I have my pre-workout as well So I used to take pre-workout a lot But I stopped taking it. I probably take pre-workout once a week or twice a week and this is oxy shred Please let me know if you're on oxy shred and how you like it I would love to hear some reviews because they do have a lot of mixed reviews uh, Which is why I'm only taking this maybe once or twice a week because I'm still really skeptical about it But I would love to hear your reviews on it but yeah y'all let's go to work so you want to make sure that you're starting off your workout by stretching i am dynamic stretching which means that i am constantly moving i'm not holding a stretch for say 10 to 15 seconds that's called static stretching and i like to do that at the end of my workout when i first started my fitness journey i actually made the mistake of static stretching at the beginning of my workout but no, you're supposed to do dynamic stretch. And here I'm also activating my glutes. I decided to do a bit more of an extensive glute activation today, I would say. But I usually keep it really simple. And sometimes I don't even pull out bands. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. But again, make sure that you are thoroughly stretching because it makes a huge difference. Let's go. Have some fun. Enjoy the show. We in Houston celebrating. We're going to Houston and Atlanta, Vegas. Y'all are in the Vegas? Y'all in Houston? We definitely want y'all. Yo, I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you. I'm only you. So first up, we have hip thrust. I absolutely love this exercise and feel like you need to be doing it on glute day if you want to see results. So you're definitely able to progressive overload on this exercise and progressive overload is the key to growing your glutes. So that's super important. Right here, I'm lifting 405 pounds and I just want to take a second for you all to see my form. Improper form is definitely a reason why you may not be seeing glute growth. You want to make sure that you're actually targeting your glutes and you have your feet in the right place. You have your chin tucked and are just making sure to prioritize your form. So I was absolutely dying on this exercise, but it's a good pain, honestly. I did about four to five sets of eight reps. And I'm trying to get this number up, but it's a lot of weight. So I'm definitely trying to up that number because like I said, progressive overload is key. Ideally, I do wanna be in the 10 to 12 range for reps, but everything takes time. And I did go down and drop the weight after this just because I wanted to get some higher reps in. But again, hip thrust, absolutely swear by it. Hey. Next is RDLs, and I have a love-hate relationship with this exercise right here. It definitely burns, and going up in weight has been a struggle for me, but I finally did it. I was at 115 for a while, and now I'm hitting 135 pretty comfortably. So the key to doing this exercise correctly is that hip hinge. As you can see, I'm pushing my hips back. And as I come up, I'm really thinking about pulling that weight up with my glutes and pushing down with my heels. So here's 
a better look at that hip hinge that I was talking about. Pushing my hips back and really trying to keep my spine straight. Do not bend it because that will cause back pain. So it's also really important to focus on single leg movements for glute growth. And I really enjoy these deficit reverse lunges, specifically on the Smith machine, because I have so much control, my balance is better, and I just love it. And I was moving pretty slowly in this video because I was struggling a little bit. I was having some knee shaking. I did about four to five sets of 10 reps on each leg. And then I started at 90 pounds and then I dropped down to 70 pounds. But again, I swear by this, you have to be doing single leg movements. They're key. So I really feel like this exercise is the secret that I was missing because I was not doing this exercise up until about two months ago. And I feel like that shelf look is coming together for me because of these glute kickbacks. They get you right, okay? Make sure that you're leaning forward and kicking back and turning your foot outward a little bit when you reach the top. I don't know if you could really see that, but my foot was turned out a bit. So I forgot to talk about these ankle straps that I have. I got them off of Amazon and that was really the main reason I hadn't done glute kickbacks, but I'm so happy that I got them because like I said, it's been a game changer. So I decided to end my workout with hip abductions and this will really help to round out your booty, fill in those hip dips. Of course, you can't fill in your hip dips, but you can make them look smaller. So I really like these and I also like side lunges and they start to burn immediately. <laughs> I believe I only completed three sets of 10 reps on each leg because at this point I had been in the gym for so long and I was ready to go. I know you want to, girl. Do the things you know I like all. I'm the man. Okay, y'all. So I'm back home finally. It's so late. I was at the gym forever. Okay. And it wasn't even necessary, I'm not gonna lie, but I just didn't have anything to do today, so I just spent my day in the gym. But yeah, that was my glute day, y'all. Um, I also need to stretch. Even though I was in the gym forever, I still didn't stretch, it was just crazy. So I need to do that. I got some Panda. Um, I really didn't eat much of anything today. I just had a pre-workout snack. So I have so much catching up to do when it comes to my calories and macros and all that. It's gonna be a long night, but we'll get it done. Um, yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe please that would be awesome let me know what else you want to see from me in the comments too and of course follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok uh at toyona for ig and tiktok and then my fitness ig is at toyona fit but yeah y'all thanks so much for watching and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video